What's up everyone? So I just quickly want to let you guys know that I'm actually a full-time streamer on Twitch now. I stream pretty much every day except for Fridays and Saturdays, and I stream anything from training sessions where I teach certain players or students how to get much better at the game, which by the way I'll be making a separate video on in terms of training session and how it works and how much it costs and how you can set it up. But of course it's not all just serious and educational, sometimes we just meme it up, goof around and have fun. Of course, I also stream whenever I'm practicing or grinding against a good player or a top player and so on. Sometimes I stream quick play, um, as well as sometimes I just play games like Zelda or Mario or specifically now, World of Warcraft Classic. So if you want to come by and say hi, that'd be really nice. As I'm usually live for hours, so follow if you're interested. And of course, I'd really really appreciate a sub as I'm basically trying to make this a full-time job as well. And of course, if you're wondering if it's even worth it to sub, then you can always come by and ask the people who are subbed or the chat in general. Either way, if you sub, of course, you get some original emotes. And on Sundays, I'll be playing subs for a best of five and give advice on how you can get better, kind of like a mini session. Anyways, hope to see you guys on stream. Enjoy this video for now. Welcome to how to play Banjo and Kazooie, where I'll be going through the basics of how you want to play this character. Banjo is a pretty simple and versatile character. He's an all-arounder with flexible aerials who can zone out the opponent and pressure up close. He's just as heavy as Snake or Rob, so he can live for a pretty long time. He has a really good dash dance and Kazooie in general runs really fast. He also has two double jumps which don't go very far but at least turn him around in the air if wanted. His neutral is all about how you use his grenades, his neutral B, how you pressure with his aerials and tilts. And then it's basically all about how you strategically use side B to beat out their options and kill. His normals are really straightforward and it's really important to first understand what they do and what his bread and butters are. Something to note is that Kazooie is actually a disjoint for Banjo and cannot be hit. Forward air is a really good aerial to land with. It'll deal a lot of damage and it's also generally safe on shield if you land it low, and even more safe if you space it in the process, since spacing allows you to also be aggressive with some other follow-ups. Hitting it from 0 to 30 percentage will always lead into a very reliable combo. But after that percent, it's more so to deal good damage, set up for edge guards kills, and is just generally an amazing aerial for a ton of situations. There is also a late sour spot, but it's really hard and unlikely that you'll end up hitting with it. His back air is a good landing option and good mix-up in neutral. It's only safe if you land it and space it however. Landing it can also allow you to combo into a grab or forward tilt. It's not really guaranteed in all characters in every percent however, so it's not the most consistent combo. You can also land the first hit of back air and hit the tip of it, which might lead into an up tilt, up smash, or down beat. The neutral air is generally not safe against shield unless you cross it up and the opponent doesn't have a direct way of dealing with it, and it's more so of a mix up to shield poke or as a really nice full hop anti air, especially since it lasts for so long that it can also pressure shield in the process of fast falling. Hitting the last hit won't let you combo into anything. It does set up for the perfect angle to pressure with more aerials, down B or anything else however. If you do a landing neutral air, you'll be able to combo into jab or grab, as long as they don't end up behind you, which you can get more consistently by drifting it forward towards them. Otherwise, this move will be amazing at punishing regular get up, ledge jumps, as well as edge guarding. His up air is really good and has multiple uses. It's not only really good for juggling, but it also combos really well depending on what you land with. If you hit both the hits, it'll always launch the highest and it'll lead into an aerial. If you end up hitting with the inner last hit, you'll get a lower launch, allowing for easier combos at even higher percents. You can also land with the first hit at close range for a low launch, which also combos. Then you can also land with the first hit while spacing it, which launches them towards Banjo. This one is easily the best to hit, as the combos you get are insane. We also get to confirm into side B, which can kill around 70%, and this works at all percents. And it works at all percents since this very hitbox has set knockback. 
Down air can be used as a landing mix-up, or as a rare mix-up in neutral, as it has a falling hit and a landing hit. But it's generally easy to punish and doesn't grant much of a reward hitting it on stage, even when the metal hitbox spikes. If you do hit it, it's best to try reacting to what they do, or at least full hop up air to try catching their double jump, as well as potentially frame trap. You can also full hop off stage, down air at the peak of your jump, hold the jump to buffer it, time your up B as soon as his double jump reaches his peak, charge it all the way, double jump and air dodge upwards to make it back. But it has to be done perfectly and is really easy to mess up. All in all, his aerials are really good but he lacks out of shield options. Back air and up smash are fast but very situational. This is a big weakness in his game and requires you to find nice ways to work around it by zoning the opponent out properly. On the other hand, however, his aerials are also really good at shield poking. His tilts won't really combo into anything, but are disjoints and long range, so it's mostly used out of shield or for zoning the opponent out, as down tilt has the best range, and forward tilt is the safest option of space. Down tilt isn't so safe at hitting the shield, but you can cross it up if you hit it up close. Hitting the very tip of the down tilt sets up for tech situations from 0 to roughly 60%. There's also a close hitbox that launches them for tech situations at even higher percents, and at really high percents, hitting it at the ledge can kill the opponent, as it's stronger than forward tilt. His forward tilt is really fast and good. It isn't as good for tech situations since they can basically DI in or up and jump, but it can still work at mid percents. Otherwise, it'll basically just launch the opponent in a perfect spot where you can dash in and try contesting whatever option they go for. Up tilt is mostly used for punishing opponents falling down on you. It can also combo at very specific percents. It won't hit smaller opponents though and is unsafe against shield so it's mostly used for catching landings or quickly hitting someone above you. His smash attacks aren't safe against shield but are very powerful once you hit them. Forward smash and down smash also work at the ledge to hit hanging opponents and for a lesser commitment, down angled forward tilt can also work. And it's especially good at catching two things. His dash attack has an initial sweet spot that launches opponents for edge guards or landing punishes, and a late sour spot that launches them for jab or grab at starting percents, and an up angled forward tilt from 0 to 60%. The sweet spot can be used to kill, but if you DI down and away, you won't die until extremely high percents. His jab is fairly simple. You can get the triple jab or rapid jab, both of which are good for getting the opponent off of you so you can get space for your setups and zoning. His throws won't lead into anything guaranteed. His up throw will be amazing for frame traps, however, since if you full hop and up air at starting to mid percents with perfect timing, you will catch out double jumps as well as you can potentially punish air dodges. Otherwise, if catching air dodges are too hard, you can also try catching landings. It won't set up into anything till roughly 30% if the opponent mashes decently well, in which case you can only get an up air, and after roughly 50% you can try go for a full hop neutral air and fast fall it for a drag down. If they're smart and delaying their mash as a mix up, you won't get the neutral air follow up, in which case you can actually either jab or just jab once for an extension. Otherwise, you could observe how they usually try to mash out and make the best of it too. At high percents, to kill, you can use up tilt if you think they're gonna mash really fast. But if they don't mash so fast, or if they're at too high percentage to get out really quickly, then you should just up smash, since the up tilt will miss. Forward throw is just for launching opponents off stage, and back throw can start killing around 125% at the ledge. His specials are really important to master, as it's essentially where you'll be manipulating the opponent's neutral width. Press neutral B once, or tap it over and over and you'll have Kazooie throw up an egg. This can be really good if you full hop and buffer it so that you can also double jump before you land with another one if wanted while staying mobile. And if done from further away, you can run in with it and combo into things or pressure with even more things. Holding the B button for a tiny moment after you've shot an egg allows you to hold Kazooie, which lets you walk left or right while continuously shooting an egg. You can also jump and double jump to keep covering certain ways for the opponent to approach you. And if you want, you can also press the A button or C stick to shoot as well. To cancel this, you can press any other special move, tilt it down on the control stick, or shield on the ground or in the air. Hitting it at close range can allow you to pop them upwards, which can allow you to combo into even more eggs. This version may seem underwhelming at first, but it can be extremely powerful in a lot of matchups, 
where the target is either really big or tall, and needs space to be able to do much. The eggs also get weaker the more you shoot. In fact, after the 6th egg it gets weaker, and after the 12th egg it gets even weaker. So you never want to shoot for a long time. Only a few here and there for extra damage and to frustrate. Obviously, you can also use this offstage to try disrupting recoveries or shoot it before coming back from really high up. His side B is extremely strong and self-explanatory. Because it's invincible from frame 18 till 53, it'll beat out any landing option in neutral or during their disadvantage. It can beat out any ledge option or destroy any kind of recovery. And can even be used as an anti-air to call out jumps after pressure has been put out. It can also hit some characters 2 frames, but not every character. And so in that case, you'll have to forward tilt downwards. You will spend 1 out of 5 feathers every time you use this move and you won't get them back until you die and reset. So you want to be smart in where and how you use them. Strategically, the most important thing will be to learn how each matchup will suffer against this move. One thing to keep in mind is that Banjo can very easily get grabbed during this, as well as it's not safe against shield, especially when using it from far away. Doing it up close is still not safe, but much less punishable. Besides, doing it from far away only means that you'll get the late sour spot of the move, as it's at its strongest at the beginning of the move. His up special is decent. You can simply tap it or hold the B button to charge it. As soon as you bounce off the platform, you'll get 3 frames of intangibility, which isn't much and will still leave Banjo very vulnerable. His recovery does however become amazing when you use his side B special in mixture. One good thing is that you can still act after the up special with anything you want. So you could use it as a ledge option if you wanted to or during neutral. Platform that falls will also hit opponents, so at really high percents, it can be used as an edge guard as well. Down B lets Kazooie poop out a grenade, which is where things get a little bit more complicated. The grenade will explode after just above 2 seconds, unless it connects with an opponent, in which case it explodes on frame 1. Earliest the bomb will hit at close range is frame 10, making it a decent combo follow-up. However, DIing away this kind of grenade won't allow Banjo to combo into anything. The toss of the grenade as well as how it traverses will be mostly random because of how it spins and how it's shaped. You can do it while grounded, dash in and catch the bomb, and then throw it, or jump and use an aerial to catch it, and maybe combo, but it's usually more effective and safer to jump as you press down B and catch it with Z or an aerial. The best way is to full hop and down B, down and slightly behind you, so it pops out towards the direction you are moving. Then press Z to catch it, which will allow you to double jump and toss the grenade downwards for combos as well. You could of course also just grab it with an aerial if you wanted to. You of course don't have to catch it and can simply react to the fact that it will just hit instead, and capitalize with a combo as well. You could even run up, grab, pummel once, down throw, and take advantage of the explosion for a combo. Be careful though as the end explosion will affect Banjo as well. But if you throw it at them, or if it connects with the opponent before the timer goes off, Banjo doesn't get affected by the explosion. This is not only great for combos, but will allow you to basically recover infinitely. By simply doing a down B, grab it with Z, charge up B, air dodge upwards, down B, grab it with Z, charge up B, and repeat for as many times as you want. On top of it, you'll still have two double jumps that you've been able to save up. This basically makes Banjo's recovery and stalling ability even more amazing. This can also make down air off stage way easier to come back from. Especially since you can recover really high and then fall with two double jumps or B reverse your down B. Which by the way, you can still do even when you already have a grenade on stage. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to support this channel, then please consider helping me out on Patreon. There's a lot of awesome rewards that you can get. You'll get sessions, and you'll also be able to watch these artifs way earlier than anyone else. And if you can't support me on Patreon, then please consider sharing these videos to your friends.